Hi everyone, good morning. Um, today we're going to talk about differentials. So if you know how to take a derivative, you can definitely take a differential. So, uh, so the learning objectives today are you're going to be able to take a differential and then also be able to understand geometrically what's going on. So let's look at the derivative, the notation for derivative we've seen so far. So we, when we take a derivative, often we write, if I ask you to take a derivative of a function, sometimes you might write f prime of x equals to write to indicate the derivative, or you might write dy dx to indicate the derivative. And we talked about, <clears throat> I might have mentioned that this was Newton's notation, and this is Leibniz's notation. They're both discovering calculus around the same time, sort of had a different take on it. Both of the notations are really helpful. And today we're going to sort of focus, we're going to focus on this notation over here. And I'm just going to cut right to the chase and tell you what a differential is, and then we'll do some practice on actually finding them, and I'll talk about more, like, what does it actually mean? So a differential is these little pieces. So right now, this dy and dx together mean something. They mean the derivative of y with respect to x. But with differentials, dy and dx have their own meaning separately. Okay, so I'm just going to cut right to the chase. The differential is f prime of x times dx. So the differential is just the dy part. So more formally, I might say, <clears throat> let dx be an independent variable. It can be anything non-zero, non-zero real number, and f a differentiable function. And I define d, d sub y to be this expression here. So dy is a function of both x and dx. I feel like, let's just let that absorb for a little bit. What does it mean? We're going to talk about what does it mean. Let's do some problems, just so you get, like, you feel comfortable with it. Because I know you guys can um, find these no problem, because you, you're good at taking derivatives. And if you're good at taking derivatives, then you're already an expert at finding differentials. So. Yeah, but it is kind of amazing that you can, that, that you can, the notation itself, you can, it holds two different variables inside of it. But it's, it's similar to implicit differentiation, how we solved for dy dx like it was a variable. So it's, it's, it's similar to that. It feels like that to me. So let's just do some examples. y equals x squared plus 2x. I want to find the differential dy. So dy is the derivative times dx. So dy is, so take the derivative, 2x plus 2 times dx. That's it. That's it. So really, uh, the, the, the work that you have to do is finding a derivative. And so that's what you've been working on this all semester. So. I feel like you guys are doing fine. So here's a y equals cosine x. We want to find dy. dy is the derivative. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine x times dx. Find dy. If y equals e to the x squared. Okay, dy is the derivative. So just be careful whenever you're taking the derivative. Remember, one step at a time. So I see e to something, e to the x squared. So the derivative of the outside, the derivative of e is just e, e to the x is just e to the x. 
times the derivative of the inside times the x. Okay, and you can simplify it, but I, I don't really care if you simplify it. I mean, it's it's looks great to me. Simplifier. Okay, so so then let's just talk about what does it mean. So I feel like um, I, have, I have some exercises for you for you guys. So you're basically finding a derivative and multiplying it by dx. But what does it mean? What is um, what's the geometric interpretation of this idea? So take a take a differentiable function. Let f be a differentiable function. And just consider some small change in x values and how that affects the y values of the function and how that's connected to the derivative. So let's just look at x and then some amount later, x plus some small amount later. Okay, so we know the, the whole point of the class is that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So let's look at the derivative. Let's look at the tangent line. So if I go to this point over here, oh, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Okay. <clears throat> so this, here's dy right here. This is where dy should, so this, this distance here is d dx or delta x, and it's a change in x. So the change in x, with regard to, okay, I'm talking about looking at the tangent line from x to delta x, and I'm looking at the function change from x to delta x. So, so the x, the change in x for the tangent line and the function is the same. But notice that the, the difference in y values is slightly different. Here, this whole difference here, this is the actual change in y values, delta y. But this piece here, the change in the tangent line, is dy. So the idea is that delta y is approximately dy. The idea is that when you get really close to, when you get in a little interval, around some, some arbitrary x value, and you look at the function, and you look at the tangent line, the, fu the function and the tangent line are very close to each other. They're very similar. And so that's what this idea is, is that the differential approximates the change in y. So officially, the differential is the difference in the tangent line y values for a function, and the delta y is the difference in the actual function values of the function. So... Um, so just try the exercises, and I might make like a little short, fun video to go with this topic. Otherwise, just I think there's like four exercises to try. Please try those. I will post solutions eventually. Let me know if you have any questions, and please email me, email me, and I hope you're having a good day and that you're all safe.